Well, ready for this one, guys? <laughs> Woo! This is probably one of the worst XJ doors I have ever seen. We got some bad hinges right in here. Those are completely shot. And the hinge itself is ripping off the body. Yeah, not good. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Got my dad over here and we are working on Rec J. Rec J is going to be his new vehicle. He had a little accident, if you will, in his beautiful new expedition. Sorry about that. Yeah. But the most important thing is he's okay and he lives to drive another day. Yes, we got a beautiful uh, X-ray over here and we're going to fix this up. We got some wet sand going on right now. He's going to finish this hood nice and neat and then we're going to put some paint on it and uh, we're also going to address this disgusting door while the uh, fender's off. We have good access to the hinges. I bought a hinge repair kit uh, so we're going to do a, a hinge job on this old Rec J. All right, here we go. All right, guys, that door came off nice and easy. If you want to see how I took that off, I got a video where I replaced the door on the police Jeep, the police XJ. I'm just going to replace this whole entire door. So the first step is we are going to remove everything that's on this door. And then uh, I also got the door that I put on that XJ from the junkyard. So I took that off in the junkyard. So got a couple videos that'll give you a little more detail. Just wanted to pop this down real quick. Uh, I got a nice little rolling dolly. I think it's a Harbor Freight thing. Uh, it's great for holding doors. And I could even clean up this rust while I'm at it here. Gross. Hate rust, man. All right, let's fix this door. All right, guys, let's address problem number one, this crack in the weld right here. I'm just going to grind this down a little bit, clean it up, and then uh, zap this back on. Alright guys, there we go. I blobbed a lot of stuff in there. Then I grinded it down, or ground, grind, ground. Well, either way, that's how it is. I'm a great shitty welder. A grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. So uh, there's that. Uh, step two, we gotta fix these awful hinges. Look at that. Um, now, I was hoping I'd have better access with the doors off, you know, to try to cut that hinge pin but uh nope still no good uh they recommend you just using a uh drill drill it right here break the hinge pin and then punch it out so we're gonna do that for the top hinge and of course the bottom hinge too this is just as bad Look at that. That was much easier. I'm not saying my way is better than anybody else's, but man, it sure was a lot easier once I took the door off and moved this pin down. There we go. Bye-bye. 
All right, let's see what the damage is. Wow. Well, there's nothing left of this bushing. <laughs> this is just uh, crumbs, if you will. Get this out of here. Well, that wasn't too hard. All right, let's prepare the new bushings. Now, oh, if you're wondering, we got Dorman Door Hinge Repair Part 38439. Start with these new bushings. One up there. Pop in the bottom one. There we go. Nice and flush. You know what? Before I reinstall everything, let's clean this up and paint it. A little brake clean. And a little semi-gloss. Why not? To stall my moto, a couple of bee hatches. Why not? All right, here we go. Got some grease, my pin. Go ahead and get this nice and slippery. Get this plastic sheath going. Slide this baby on. Line up the hole. Well, that's definitely a pain to hammer in there, but man, you're gonna wanna get down deep enough. There it is, so that groove is exposed. They could pop on this little clip. Uh, I don't think I could do this one-handed, so. Oh, maybe I can, who knows. I'll be surprised. Ugh, not gonna happen. There we go, all right. Still got a little bit of play, but not like before. All right, guys, there is one of our new hinges. Looks great. And here is the old hinge. Still got to do that. So, yep, a lot of play in here still. Can't say, there we go. Awful. And here's a look. Old crappy hinge. And the one that's about to go in on the bottom. Make sure you don't lose these little clips too. Those are a B to find once you drop them. Um, all right, there we go. I'm gonna go to work on this one now. Holy crap, this one fought me. It's actually still in there. It's still fighting me. All right, guys, here we go. We got the door on. Things probably look a little different with Rec J because uh, I did some other work <laughs> in addition to this door video. But here we go. You can have great access to these door bolts right here with the fender out of the way. It's so much easier. And we got this thing zipped on. 
Now let me show you how well these hinges work now. Open. And close. That is beautiful. Now a key to a perfect lineup is of course shims. If you can't see in here, this bottom one has about three shims. Where it is? There it is. <laughs> three shims lined up, squished in there. Uh, it only had one. I had a pile of shims in my garage. Uh, you know what? I'll show you what the shims look like uh, later. But the top one has one shim, and the bottom one has three. It's sandwiched in between the hinge and the door. This gives it a little bit of lift it needed, and that closes right up. So we are just about done with this. The next thing I wanna do is address the check. Now this, it feels a little loose up and down, but it's supposed to be. It's the in and out play that you wanna address. Now this feels okay, but this hole looks extremely wallowed out. I don't have another bracket. I think I might just weld on some washers real quick. I'll go ahead and do that now, actually. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's our new top hole. It's a little tighter, but uh, this thing probably needs to be scrapped, but <laughs> it'll do for now. I'll get a new one later, but there we go. That's it. Let's see if this works. All right, guys, I found a little pin and uh, I zapped in the top part because I ended up welding that washer to the bottom. If you can see, it's nice and thick down there. It's a real tight fit on this pin down here. And on the top, popped a little weld in, why not? This thing ain't going anywhere for a while and it works great. Check this out. Closed. Open. No more click click. So, I'm gonna have to go fix this just like this on Black Beauty. She still clicks after many, many years of me promising to fix it. So, stay tuned for a video on me fixing this one of these days. It will happen. But we got uh, Rec J, AKA Resurrect J, because it has arisen from the dead. And uh, here we go, man. I can do this all day long. Makes me so happy. I actually also fixed the Grievous. If you want to see me do a ZJ door hinge. Oh, please don't let this Jeep be locked. I don't want to ruin this nice clip. Oh, baby. Yeah, there we go. I fixed the Grievous hinges also. New hinges right there, a little welding also. Bam, we got some, some good Jeep doors. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. All right guys, that's a wrap for this XJ door video. If you wanna see another video on how to remove a door from a junkyard, got a good video on that. I also did a video on how to replace an XJ door. So uh, between this and those other two, I got everything you need to know about an XJ door. Actually, I think I still have one more video coming up in the future, gotta edit and post it. But uh, it's about on how to uh, finish an XJ door. Make sure you got all the wiring in there correctly and how to button it up just right. Uh, but there you go, we got uh, Beautiful new hinges, a nice uh, door check. Actually, I don't think I did a door check video, but uh, <laughs> hey, I can make another one. Whatever, I wanna fix the uh, black beauty door check. So there we go. Beautifully closes, oh, handle, and no more click click. So, all right, that's a wrap for me. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.